Mouth is. Yep. The fist bump, strike to Dreamland. Pretty common place for this to start, I think. Yeah. Uh, both of these characters just appreciating the space to run around, shoot their guns. Uh, probably more favorable for Fox than it is Falco, I want to say. Yeah, we get those follow ups on the top platform. Fox can chain grab him in the middle. And Fox can just uh, abuse his mobility so much on this stage. Yeah. He can just instantly escape any sort of pressure by running up around the platforms. And he can do that just so much better than any other character. Oh, what the heck? He has the right read, but just can't turn around. The most frustrating input error to have when you just fail to turn around. And Charlie, I don't know, he always has a very strange style of play, I find. Uh, it really looks like he's much worse than he is in a lot of cases. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see if he can uh, eke out something against Hex here. Hex, notably mistaken for Hacks a lot. <laughs> At Gommel, they're shouting out the names on the mic. You know, they're all both walking to the front and like, who, who do you want? Show me the Hex money! Hex money sounds like some sort of like Wall Street gypsy curse or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna be bad. Big combo, oh, Charlie punish. already almost a full stock behind. He's gonna have to finish off Hex immediately before too much more gravy gets dumped on his head. Yeah, so do you know what the Joey tag is about? Uh, I think it's just a, a shout out to Lucky. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, he's a big fan of Lucky as a player, and then maybe also as a shout out to Mango, who uses the Joey tag as a shout out to Lucky. <laughs> to Lucky. So yeah. it's like a double shout out, right? Uh, some sort of Christopher Nolan type shout out, <laughs> but you know, like Christopher Nolan movies, it really isn't worth thinking about. <laughs> no, we'll never finish, never figure out how the end of Inception no. uh, works, works out. Ooh, double U air. Charlie, really big fan of combo extending with U-Airs in really tight spots. Also, just using them in neutral to get combos going, as Lucky also does. Um, so you can kind of see his inspirations there. Oh, Ooh, nice it. forward smash. That'll take it. Charlie looking to make a bit of a comeback. Only down 60%. That's one big combo. Oh, power shields. And he's really abusing oh. mobility like you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopping to those platforms. He's running around sense. until it, it makes perfect sense to come in and not a second before. Oh, nice there. Again, just kind of stringing him along and then double jumping at the key time. Oh, oh my beautiful. god. Again? Charges oh, another no. one. That was, that was reactable by the Falco. Nah, but uh, you know, sometimes you just got forward smash on the brain. Yeah. You gotta let it out. And now Charlie with the lead, rocking the 69%. Let's see if he can finish Hex off without uh, eating another big Falco combo. And yeah, Charlie really seems like he's coming into his element. Uh, ooh. So do you think uh, Fox lasers in this matchup are any good, any effective? I mean, it all kind of depends on what you think the Falco's going to do, right? Like if, you, if they're going to come in on you anyways, then probably not. Because they'll just run right through your lasers and eat you alive. But if they've been kind of playing the spacing game too and retreating and shooting their own lasers, I think it's super effective. Like, you've seen the Leffen video, right? Where he explains right. how the stale noob negation makes your, your lasers actually worth like pretty much 10% damage. Yes. If you sneak them in at the right times. Um, but Charlie, I don't know, he's not really the type of player to, uh, to ever run away, ever back down, ever be fine with just shooting a projectile. Ooh, nice get up attack this could to there. This, should this is be it. it. Yeah. All right. Charlie takes game one. Good job. Makes a little bit of a comeback there. You can kind of see himself uh, just getting more adjusted as the match goes on. His movement gets tighter. His He starts getting more read-based. Uh, just confident that he's getting into Hex's head. So we go right back to Dreamland. Hex, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, Probably, I, uh, I don't know, some Foxes uh, are totally fine with playing this on Stadium, uh, but Stadium is just sort of, it has that level of uncertainty and jank, right? Like, of course. Uh, Fox can get huge punishes, but then again, so can Falco, and it really just kind of depends on who is in what place during what transformation. So most Foxes, I think, uh, kind of try to shy away from it. Ooh, big combo opportunity, but he, oh, actually this could be big. Ah, uh, Charlie gets the perfect spot dot shine. Get him off his back. Ooh. Ooh, oh, back nice with a shield. It's back. And that'll be it. the first stock for Hex. Um, and again, we see the same sort of thing. Where oh, Ooh. nice. Okay, I thought he could get a bit more, but it's not bad. 
Ooh, Hex uh, goes way too far in, calling the, the upward up B, but Charlie sneaks right there onto the ledge, uh, Chuffles. And again, we're kind of seeing this thing where Charlie or Chuffles at a bit of a deficit, but I don't think Hex is going to be too confident looking at the, the comeback that he had made last game. And uh, yeah, even with this one stock lead, you, you still kind of get the sense that uh, Chuffles is still kind of in the early stage of his game and things right. are going to get even more advanced. And these guys, they love spacing their back airs, I've noticed. Yes, both very back heavy players. Uh, you know, big back. <laughs> that ain't a monkey on her back. That's Donkey Kong. <laughs> Shout out to Project Pat. <laughs> yeah, look at them, just hopping over each other, bearing. Yeah. Whenever I, I'm in that situation oh. where people are just bearing back and forth, I always feel like, man, there's something different I can do that just wins the situation instantly. I know there is, but yeah. I don't want to do it. I want to win the bear war, right? Exactly. Like I, I don't want to just hit them. I want to prove that yeah, I'm better at bear. Yeah, you have a lot to bear. prove, you know? Yeah. People it's, have an ego about their bears. It's very silly. Like, I love my bear. I've, I've raised my bear since a small cub. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to just wimp out and do something smart like up tilt. No. I want to actually bear them. Ooh, nice bears from uh, Hex, and it looks like he could actually take this one at any second. Charlie unable to make the kind of uh, adjustment that he did oh, last time. Ooh, okay, that was that was uh, almost cute. If the if the shine had landed there, that would have been really nice. But uh, ooh, this isn't looking too good for for Chuffer here. No, he's not going to be very chuffed with this result. No, not chuffed at all. All right, we're going to game three. Takes I wonder where Charlie will go. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that Hex will want to avoid FD. Yeah. Uh, Chuffle's definitely the oh. tier of player that will get the chain grab. We're, right, we're going to Battlefield. Not a very common place to go game three, I find, in like yeah. any, any kind of set. Typically, this is your neutral, and then uh, and you don't really see it again. Or you see every single game on Battlefield. Yes. That's the other one. But that's, double that's Dreamland Battlefield, that is a weird one. Ooh, nice turnaround up smash. Just got some raw damage on there. Could have tried to go for the re-grab, I guess. But uh, then if you go for another up throw, uh, the Falco is just able to go onto the side platform. So really, just getting the guaranteed damage from the up smash is probably better. Oh. Ooh, trying to chase him down with these, with these dash attacks. Can't quite get his oh feet on God. him. So many back airs. Oh my gosh. It's looking like Puff to those. Oh, snipes it. Makes oh, it low. Dude. Thanks, Bernard. Really, really good for Hex there to uh, notice that he can just F smash. That was just right the tips of his toesies. Yeah, that was great. Oh, short double oh, lasers. Double laser from the ledge. So hopefully um, we'll see that again. No, we don't. This time he uh, wave lands to the side platform. All right. Pretty even. Shuffle's taking that stock without really uh, eating too much gravy. Shadows to Gravy. <laughs> Great Falcon, man. Ooh. Oh, there we go. The famous Chuffles falling up air. As a part of shield pressure, it often shield pokes. Uh, you just hit them with the headshot. Ooh, and I don't know about that fully charged F smash. Yeah. Even at this stage, you get the sense that uh, Chuffles is maybe trying to disrespect on top of winning. Right. Which I'm not I feel really like he's sure. That kind of player, right? Oh, yes, yes. He's uh, much more satisfied if he can get a few randy F smashes <laughs> than if he actually wins the set. Yeah. But you know, all the more power to him. Whatever you find fun. That right. was cool. Shields that up there, closes off that stock. He's got a lead, but man. He's really just running all over the stage right now. At this percent. Not letting Falca catch him. That's right. And that's what Fox has to do. Like, this is his advantage in the matchup is the ability to just run so much faster, jump so much faster, get from A to B without any sort of commitment or forethought. Ooh, that could have been really nasty. And again, going for these falling U-hairs. Oh, oh, oh no. crazy. Oh my gosh, was the lucky of Ontario. Holy, that was that was the first set of up air to up tilt, right? Yup, yup. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's like, that's the, the lucky signature. Chillin' Dude does that one too. It's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Like, that's when you can tell, all right, this guy is not maining Fox just because he happens to be top tier. This yeah. guy is maining Fox because Fox is super fun for him. Like, yeah. To see that sort of insight, to be like, ledge? Oh, ooh, no. Weird uh, edge guarding situation there. And we are down to the last stock all of right, the game. Stock three. of champions. This is it. Loser walks home. <laughs> 
good. It's a Euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and... Man, they're just kind of wailing away on each other again. We get this bear war. Oh, and he breaks the bear war with that Randy Ford smash. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the sort it's of thing you, you have to realize that you have the option to do. You don't actually have to get trapped in the bear war. But man, doesn't the bear war sound like the most badass thing ever? Yes, I would totally watch a movie called like the Bear War. Like Yumikura Arashi sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shout outs to oh, no. anyone else watching. Oh, that's going to be it. And oh. this is it for Chuffles. He is not going to be happy with that loss. Turns away, doesn't look in the eyes. I can't hand. believe I lost to Hex in pools. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hopefully we don't see another Chuffles Hex run back. All right. And now we've got... Local oh. hero, D. She. David She Playing against my favorite player from out of region, Poop. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's not right. That's, it's uh, Trillium. Towel. Trillium's in Poop's pool. We already saw that. Yeah. He's playing against Towel. It's another, it's another Falcon, Falcon Ditto? So that's fine. I kind of like to see the Falcon Ditto, but I'd also oh. like to see D. She actually play his main for yeah. once in his life. <laughs> D. She's been coming to our, our local weeklies and entering just as a different character every time. Yeah. We got the D. Sheik, which was truly terrifying. We got the support yes. Falcon, also terrifying. I lost to them both, I'm pretty sure. Playing my main. Yeah. Feeling pretty, pretty embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I actually, no, I think I went Falco against the Sheik. Oh, yeah. You I, did, you I, did, I don't really did. like the Sheik today. <laughs> no. I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't think many Sheiks do. I'm not going to go out of my way to play that. And Towel, a player from Guelph, uh, brother of the Engineer. Yep. Uh, the Engineer will come out to our events pretty much every week, but Towel. Uh, he's a bit more rare. Yeah, he's, he's more of a rare appearance. Very exciting player to watch. Yes. I, he's rocking the Doug tag. I saw Michael use that earlier. Michael will just kind of choose a random tag, but I wonder if it... Oh, yeah. it's it's the Douglas J. Douglas Falcon. Douglas J. Falcon. That's, right. that's what it is. Douglas so, Dittos. Why Michael used it for Falco, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs>